This is AEDT 2150U Digital Technologies and Advanced Teaching Methods. The title for this video is Course Projects. There will be three assignments in this course. The first is a collective assignment. The second is a group course project. The third is a weekly journal and a reflective rationalization. Let's look carefully at the details of the steps you need to take. The first assignment, which is worth 25% of your grade, is online discussions and wiki. It is an individual and collaborative work. So this assignment is divided into three parts. The first one is actively participating to the online tutorial sessions. And this means you have to be present in all the tutorials on uh, Adobe Connect. You have to be able to uh, participate to the discussions whether uh, through your mic or through the chat, uh, you have to have your webcams on. So you have to be present and you have to uh, be actively participating to the discussions. The second part is the course wiki and we will be using uh, a Google uh, document. You will collab collaborate to the definitions of concepts surrounding the topics of the course during the tutorial sessions in Adobe Connect. You are expected to research the concepts prior to the tutorial sessions. The third part is discuss readings and digital media resources. You will be commenting the weekly video clips, linking them to the readings and discussing the analysis and synthesis questions using the comment feature on the YouTube channel. And you will be sharing resources and reflecting about them on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. The second assignment is the course project, and this assignment is worth 55% of your grade. The course project will run from the beginning of the course until the end. Each part builds on the previous one. You will be offered two types of evaluation throughout the course, formative evaluation and summative evaluation. This evaluation process ensures that you provide the best possible assignment at the end of the course. The project will be divided in three parts. The first part of the course project is the needs assessment. You will analyze needs for one of the PBL scenarios. This needs analysis is intended to better inform you to design training material for a short course in a school, a higher education institution, a nonprofit organization, or a corporation. Examples of courses of the material that you need to produce can be uh, for one hour synchronous online course, a month long asynchronous course, a one day workshop or web resources for self learners. The length of this first part will be two to three pages, so 800 to 1000 words. The second part is the evaluation instruments. So you will have to create summative evaluation instruments and pilot test for your course. The length for this assignment is two to three pages. The third part, which is the, the biggest part, is uh, the course design and materials. So the course has to involve digital technologies and a contemporary teaching method or a mix of different advanced teaching methods. You will prepare ready to use course material for learners and teachers or instructors. The length for this part of the assignment is 20 pages or equiv equivalent digital objects. The third assignment is the journal and summary of experience. This assignment is also divided into two parts. In the first one, you will keep individual weekly journals about your reflections on designing courses that integrate advanced teaching methods, the strategies that you are using to collaborate with uh, your group members throughout the different parts of the project, the different kinds of constraints you are facing, and the choices and decisions you are making. That journal could be in the format of a blog, a wiki, tweets, and should be accessible to the class peers and instructor. You uh, will be also commenting on others' blog. For the second part, or the last journey entry, you will write between 700 to 1,250 words, 
summary of experience in the course, which is the reflective rationalization, which contributed to your understanding of advanced teaching methods and of the affordances and limitations of digital technologies when used in designing courses. You will reflect on what you did well and what you could have improved.